guys, welcome to Adobe's channel. Today we are going to have a laboratory adventure. Let's find out. At the beginning, I would like to highlight that the laboratory is a SGS and TUV qualified testing location, which means our test is as reliable as these two. Before you see the test equipment, there is one thing you definitely don't want to miss it, the 3D printer. The 3D printer, it's helping our clients from ideas to reality. You think and you get it. Exciting, right? Okay, let's move on. There are a total of 66 types of text items so we can operate here. From electrical to optical, from safety to reliability, everything's here and ready. Waterproof is the basic requirements for gold lights as a cultivation environment with high humidity. In this waterproof system, we are able to test IP65 to IP67. Here, the UV aging test chamber can help us identify optical lens and PC covers anti-UV ability. UV performs positive effect to plants. When UV added to the spectra, this equipment can tell us what materials to use. EMC, EMI and electrical search are the key test items for CE and safety regulations. Along with the harmony current, low cells, power meter, variable frequency power supplies and DC source etc. are the test equipment followed by IEC EN 6059A Chapter 7 and 10 and IEC 61004-5 test standards. This test help with learning equipment reliability and stability. Besides the product itself, the lab is also responsible for package and installation evaluation to make sure the product arrives in your hands safely and installation completed. Drop test, 3G vibration test, load test, suspension test, etc. mimic parcels delivery and install. Are the materials safe? Are the materials environment friendly? We see questions asking about hazardous substance content a lot, especially in a big document. Red rays all the time, but here in ATOP, we would never allow us bridge the morale line. Rose tester and X-ray elemental analysis will help us figure out what component content in even little screw. Of course, we use this device a lot in our red light mask, red light cap, whichever in touch with our skins directly. We are responsible for every of our customers. PPFD is an important figure to learn girl lights distribution and coverage area. The test result will be an important reference for support our lighting layout simulation. By the way, smaller test ranges are also available using this small tent. Test and needle flame tests are dedicated to plastic anti-flame performance. It's part of the materials reliability test. When designing a new girl light model, heat management is always the first question to be considered. Keeping the LED fixture operating at the high output requires good heat dissipation. Here we got a high low temperature test chamber to supporting our daily thermal tests. Comprehensive battery tester is dedicated to battery charging and discharging at high low temperature. Through this device, we will learn three things. First, battery reliability. Second, verify etiquette battery reliability. Third, inspect battery lifespan. Battery is an individual part of red light therapy. The performance must be fully checked. EMF test receiver and handheld irradiance tester are the basic test equipment for testing EMF radiation and light irradiance. These figures will help us better learn therapy dosage and scientifically distribute red light for carrying our skin and body. Next to it is a big guy, a 2 meter diameter integrating sphere, testing from 200 to 800 nanometer, visible to invisible light. Big enough to fit an elephant! I mean, bigger size lights. IES as known as dark room, can tell us the micro mode plus the radian. We have two versions of IES tester, the standing and horizontal, applicable for different types of girl lights. Say, vertical farming products will use the standing version. 
Last but not least, considering growing ramen might have various chemical nutrients and sprays, we also provide corrosion resistance tests. The prototype can be tested by specially made solutions according to the corresponding requirements. On some of that, I basically introduced the most frequently used equipment of our lab. Provided your case have special and higher product requirements, please don't hesitate to talk to us. We are sure we have the device for your test. Just shoot us. Enjoying the day! See you in the next one!